themavenvt.com. Visit our online virtual training platform where you can train with David the Maven Chikotsky, 2008 Bluff Online Player of the Year. Also, come to Las Vegas and train at our state-of-the-art facility with the Maven, Ari Engel, Daisy XOXO, as well as many other top pros. So I'm joined here by Isaac Haxton, one of the best players in the world and one of the best friends of Justin Bonomo, who is now on the show at the www.bluffmagazine.com broadcast. Tell us a little bit about yourself. We all know that you're a great poker player, but what don't the general audience know about you? <laughs> that was not the question I was expecting. Um, I don't know, probably not all that much. I'm not that exciting. I spend most of my time playing poker. Um, Time I don't spend playing poker, I spend playing other games, hanging out, watching TV. Uh, now, are you a regular at Bobby's Room? Because it seems, no, it seems I, like it seems I like don't a lot play of very much uh, live cash games. Really. Yeah. So it's online, or where are you playing? Uh, yeah, mainly online. And then you're traveling around playing the circuit as well, aren't you? Um, a bit uh, less in the past year than I have before. I've gotten a bit sick of the traveling. I think my time is more efficiently used playing cash games online. And um, what sites do you play on? Uh, mainly full tilt and stars. Now, how has networking with other players like Justin helped your game? And what are some other players out there that you've learned a lot from? Uh, in addition to Justin, uh, Scott Siever has taught me a lot. Um, let's see who else. Justin and Scott are definitely the two people I talk poker most with. Um, then there are just countless other people who maybe not on quite the daily basis, but everybody on the two plus two forums. Um, Big shout out to them. Yeah, yeah, the two plus two forums are great. You can learn a lot about poker there. What would you say your biggest strength, the biggest weakness in poker is? Um, hmm, that's a good question. Uh, biggest strength is definitely uh, my analytical approach to the game. Uh, much more than other players, I think I can always tell people why I'm doing what I'm doing and have good reasons for all the plays that I make. Biggest weakness, uh, I think. I can sometimes overanalyze things, be too cautious, avoid playing in games that I probably should play in. Yeah, I mean, you hear a lot of people say, oh, I wish I was playing against better players because these amateurs are so hard to predict, but that's pretty much mumbo jumbo, isn't it? Yeah. You, you've probably been, I saw you play the 40K this year, correct? Yeah. You were amongst tons of tough players, yeah. so you're probably of the opinion that the tougher they are, the worse of a table it is for you, correct? Yeah, without a doubt. Uh, it's just incompetent to say you'd rather play against tougher players. I mean, maybe it's more fun to play against tougher players, but you won't make more money. I mean, you hear guys like Jeff Madsen say that when you get a, a table that's so tough that everyone kind of tones it down a little bit, then he's able to then up the ante even more and play his game. What's your thoughts on that? It's absurd. Um, <laughs> when your opponents make better decisions, that's worse for you. There's no two ways about it. Okay, so we look forward to getting you on the World Series of Poker broadcast today, and I appreciate your time. All right, thanks. Thank you.